Hello and welcome to a video on Problem Solving Part 3, brought to you by the Answer Series. These next two examples, I want you to pause the video, I want you to try these, and then we'll look at them together. The first example has two inequalities. Notice also that they have told you x is an element of n. n are the natural numbers. In other words, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc, etc. So let me take the first inequality and I solve for x. Remember when I divide by minus 3, that inequality sign changes. I then take the quadratic inequality. Set it up, factorize, you have a quadratic with a positive x squared, your zeros are minus 3 and 7, you want where it is less than or equal to 0, which means you want that part there. So when x is greater than or equal to minus 3, less than or equal to 7. Now both of these must happen at the same time because this says AND. So I know that x must be greater than 3 and at the same time x must be greater than or equal to minus 3 less than or equal to 7. Which means that x has got to be greater than 3 less than or equal to 7. So the greater than 3 comes from here and the less than or equal to 7 from there. But remember that x has to be a natural number. So what natural numbers are greater than 3 less than or equal to 7? x can be 4, 5, 6 or 7. Number 5.2 they ask you for the minimum value of the following expression where x and y are real numbers. So what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to complete the square. So I take these first two terms and complete the square. Half the coefficient of x is minus 3. So this bracket becomes x minus 3 squared. If I square this bracket out, I get x squared, I get minus 6x, but then I also get a plus 9. So what do I have to do to compensate for the plus 9 that I've got extra? I must minus 9. I then do the same thing with the y's. Half the coefficient of y is 2. So this becomes y plus 2, all squared. Square the y twice the product of the 2, and if I square the last, I get a plus 4. So what do I have to do? I need to compensate for it by minusing 4. So if I were to multiply these brackets and collect like terms, I would get back to what I had there. 21 minus 9 minus 4 is 8. Now what do you know about a bracket squared? it's always greater than or equal to naught. This bracket is greater than or equal to naught. They've asked you for the minimum value of the expression. So the lowest this can be is 0, 0, 8, which means my minimum value is 8. I have another word problem for you here. It talks about a two-digit number. Now let's just have a look at some two-digit numbers. If I give you 27, 27 is 2 times 10 plus 7. If I take 93, that's 9 times 10 plus 3. So if I have a two-digit number where the tens digit is x and the units digit is y, then this number is x times 10 plus y. In other words, 10x plus y. Now use that, pause the video, try this one, and then we'll have a look at it together. 
So I have let the tens digit be x and the units digit y. So that means my number is going to be 10x plus y. And they say to me, if a two-digit number is divided by the sum of the digits, so if 10x plus y is divided by the sum of the digits, which is x plus y, the answer is 4. Take the x plus y across and multiply and collect like terms and you get that y is equal to 2x. They then take the number again and divide it by the product of the digits. So I take 10x plus y divided by xy and I get an answer of 3. Bring the xy across and multiply. Now this y here is the same as these y's here. So in place of these y's I put 2x and I get that. Multiply the brackets, set up the quadratic, factorize and get your solutions. If x is equal to 0 then my number is no longer a two-digit number because it starts with a zero, so it can't be a two-digit number. So x cannot be zero, it can only be two. If x is two, then y is two times two, which is four, which means my number is 24. And again, whenever you get to the end of a word problem, check and see if it works. So the two-digit number, 24, is divided by the sum of the digits. 2 plus 4 is 6. What answer do I get? 4. If I take the number and divide it by the product of the digits, 2 times 4 is 8. 24 divided by 8 is 3. So it works. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the Answer Series. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.